Hello guys, welcome back to another FIFA Ultimate Team live stream. I see some people commenting already, so hello phase 9, uh, able to win, hi, uh, are you going to play with some subscribers? Not today, I will be doing that in the future, I promise, but um, this is going to be sort of like an hour live stream, if I'm going to do a thing with subscribers, I want it to be at least two hours long, but what I will do, able to win, is because you're such a nice guy and you're always here supporting the channel, I am going to make you a moderator because I trust you, you are now a moderator for the channel, um, and I trust you to remove any comments that just aren't nice, so you're a moderator now, and yeah, I hope that means something. <laughs> Everyone who I make a moderator now, if I ever hit like 10,000 subscribers or 100,000, you'll, you'll still be the moderators for them, so yeah, nothing will change at that point. We're going to jump straight into a game here today. Get some more FIFA coins. I did play a little bit off camera. I ended up quitting a game because I just got destroyed and I was terrible. So yeah, that may have affected the amount of FIFA points or coins I get um, per thing. But we're going to be doing lots of streams throughout the day today. There's going to be, yep, you're a moderator now, able to win. Uh, I'll leave you as a moderator permanently. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing lots of different streams throughout the day. I'm going to be... Um, <laughs> that's alright, man. That's absolutely fine. Like, you're a trustworthy guy. You're always here supporting the streams. And it... In the Major Ben community, we keep people who are nice and support the streams, and we, we look after them, and we make sure they get something out of it, too. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing lots of streams throughout the day today. We're going to be doing a Call of Duty stream, I think, and maybe a Fortnite stream as well. So, th potential three streams today. Um, and I kind of want to get some videos recorded, there because there's some games that I've been playing, doing as videos on the Switch. You should check them out, actually. Um, that I want to actually finish the games, and obviously I want to play it in front of the camera, so I may do some videos as well. Alright, let's attempt to have a decent game here. First game of the day, I've literally just woken up, so bear with me. <laughs> it's weird, because I'm kind of used to playing in handheld mode now. Okay. Not a great cross at all in the circumstances. And pretty easy to cope with by the defending team. Can some of my players come up with me, Plus, Thank you. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Right, I just want a good game. I knew as soon as I woke up it was going to be a bad one. It's fine, we can do this, we can catch up. First game on, I always do terrible. We'll play a couple of games on the stream today. We don't have a lot of training to do because we don't have a lot of FIFA coins, but uh, now's the point where we start saving up for some much better players, so quite a lot of the Ultimate Team live streams will probably be um, playing games now. Do you guys know how to turn off the auto switching on players? Because I really don't like it. Yeah, if anyone knows how to do that, let me know because I hate the auto switch feature on FIFA 19. It's terrible. I, I know it's on every other FIFA game, but it, it just feels so much worse. It feels like they've. It feels like they've sped the switch up. Like, not the switch, but like the, the switching between players. They sp I feel like they sped that up. But, although that sounds like a good thing, it's actually not good. I don't like it at all. Can my player wake up? Like, he's just standing there like an absolute spastic. I thought that was in then. I really thought that was in. Alright. Good forward play from them. Easy Thank you. Wow. Okay, it was theirs. Wendell. Okay, so press L and R 
Okay, see this is why you're a moderator, because I need your help as well. <laughs> and your comments get highlighted. What are you... Keeper? What a legend. <laughs> Damn it. Press L and R and the normal pass, it will... It will do a continued pass. Here's Rafinha. Paulinho. Ivan Rakitic. Oh, that was close as well. Okay, so don't overuse it. I'll give it a go. I'm not. Just a flick on with the header. They've kept possession. Lovetsy. Really? Ivan Rakitic. Wendell played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. Oh my god, every time I tackle the guy. Oh, it's just not going well. <laughs> it's fine. I always lose games, so it's okay. I mainly want the FIFA coins to buy better players to help me not lose games. <laughs> Much the better team, and this is another moment to prove that. Well, they've been knocking on the door. And opening that door so many times during the match, deservedly ahead. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances, and it is a knack. Oh, he's beaten his marker. Can't keep the ball at the moment. No, I can't keep the ball at the moment. At least you can't. <laughs> It's I just feel that like their players are so much faster than mine. That's a pass. I really feel that like they're so much better. Hello, Leah Alera. Welcome. Nice to have you along. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, but the pass wasn't on. It was a, a bad ball, as it turned out. Ugh, why? I don't want to pass it to their player. Why does it always go to their player? I don't understand. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. Well, why? The Just give me a love watching your vids. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. I know you've been uh, you've missed a few of them recently, but it's nice to have you along. Don't play always to attack. Yeah, I shouldn't play always for attack. I'm just terrible at FIFA. I suck, and I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like he's going to score this. Normally, when people take time over it. Oh. Okay. Fine save. Oh, the goalkeeper's kept it out, Alan. Yeah, I think he might have seen that late as well. So good hands. I can't wait to do a Call of Duty live stream later. Love Call of Duty. All right, let's do this. Come on, let's get at least get one goal. I don't care if we lose. Let's just score something. Ugh. You're going to get a Nintendo Switch because of me? Oh, thank you. I, although, bro, I would... Good point. I should probably have made a video about this. There's uh, rumours of a Switch Pro coming in 2019, but I guess that's still a way away. Um, and you may want to get that. I mean... They said it's going to be between summer, late, basically to third and fourth quarter of 2019. Um, so between summer onwards, there's going to be a Switch Pro. I will be getting it because I Switch is my favourite console without any doubt. I love it. Can some of my players like spread out a little bit? You're going to get it for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, you should get one. Um, but do bear in mind there is a newer one coming out. Just bear that in mind. Um, and he it away. 
But yeah, bear in mind there's a new one coming out, which I will be getting. Um, but it's good to get your Switch games library. Like, you know, you'll be able to transfer those games across the new Switch that does come out. Um, so it's good to get your library ready and have a load of a load of games ready for you to play when the Switch Pro does come out as well. So yeah, it's definitely worth getting. And they're not really that expensive if you think about the amount of usage you get out of it. So um, yeah, definitely worth getting. You know, playing AAA games on the go is, is fantastic. Especially Zelda. I really, I, if you've never played Zelda before, because I'd never played. You don't think I'll be a pro? No. Um, but I've no, I never played a Zelda game apart from Ocarina of Time on the 3DS, maybe like for an hour. Um, I played Zelda Breath of the Wild on Switch, where that was the first game I ever played, and honestly, I love that. Uh, I love that game. No, you can't transfer Xbox account to Switch. Um, you have to you have to restart, but it's good to get your games ready on the Switch. So if there is a Switch Pro or a Switch, like, oh God's sake, if there is a Switch Pro or a Switch Plus or something like that, um, then you can um, continue playing from there. No, but you won't be able to transfer your FIFA stats from Switch to. From Xbox to Switch, you have to start again. But I think that's sometimes quite nice having a fresh start, fresh console. It's probably a better thing to do anyway. This guy is a, is a much better player than me, so. Well, they look promising there in that wide area, but the defender's done well. So you should get one. Yeah, definitely get one. Um, even if there is a Switch Pro comes out, you can always get that as well uh, if you can afford that sort of thing. Uh, I don't think it'll be. A, I think it'll be a roughly around four hundred pounds in the UK, and that's probably still four hundred dollars in the US. Um, I don't know how it works, but yeah, uh, definitely get one. They are amazing. I, I mean, I have a PlayStation Four Pro, an Xbox One X, and I have the Switch, so. For yeah, the root. Yeah, the rumors are that it will have a better screen. Um, if you watch, a really good guy to watch is um, oh, what's his name? I think it's is it USA Tech Review or something like that. Uh, let me let me find out for you guys actually. Hang on. Uh, I can't see his name. No, I did not want to pass that there. I, I'm so confused at what's going on. I'm not doing these passes. Anyway, I'm going to find out this video for you because this guy... Oh, one person to definitely watch is the guy uh, channel called Beat em Ups. He's done... He's done a video on the Switch XL slash Switch Pro, um, and then I can't remember the other guy, but I'm sure you guys would have heard of him. Can I see your best team on PS? Xbox or Nintendo. Uh, I really don't have a good team at all, so I mean, I don't really play FIFA a lot. FIFA's not my game. It's My game is Call of Duty. Like, that's what I'm... As you can see, I haven't played FIFA much. I just play FIFA and I buy FIFA because for some reason you guys seem to love me playing FIFA on Switch. I don't know why you like play me playing FIFA on Switch because I'm terrible at it, but for some reason it always does really well and it's a game that I've always wanted to get better at but just never got around to playing that much due to time so <laughs> how did that guy get there before mine but yeah the rumors are that there's gonna be it's gonna have a much better screen which would be fantastic because the Switch screen is not the best. It's pretty good actually, but it is definitely not the best. And I'd like it a bit. Um, I'd like the bezels to be thinner because the bezels seem huge on the Switch now compared to like you know modern day smartphones. Uh, oh, sake. Um, I guess Nintendo won't release a more powerful console because 
don't want to separate the base and don't leave the base version left behind. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm struggling to believe the different rumors that are going on. I kind of feel, um, I kind of feel like they could do a more powerful console because if you watch, oh, Review Tech USA, Review Tech USA's video, 100%. Watch Review Tech USA's video. That's the name of the channel. He makes a ver he makes some good points. He's got some really good inside sources. He always does it, and it's not Marcus Sellers. Before you guys say that, um, he has some really good inside sources on Nintendo, um, and a lot of his inside sources are saying that they're doing a Switch Pro to keep up with the the obviously things like the PS5, uh, PS5 and Xbox Two or whatever they're going to call it are literally on the brink of being released. Like, they are so close to being released. It'll be early early to late 2019, I think, the Xbox 2, or whatever they're going to call it, will be released. And apparently PlayStation 4 will be from 2020 to 2021 or something, somewhere around there. But that's pretty close. And if you think about it, the Switch is already not even as powerful as the base PS4 and the base Xbox One. So with, new, with consoles like the PS5 and the Xbox One... Um, the rumours are is that they're going to be able to play 4K games at 60 frames per second at a very decent graphics setting. So obviously that's the way things are going. And what the what the Switch article said, the guy said that his inside sources basically had said um, that the, the Switch Pro will have the amount of power to be able to play those games at 1080p 30 but no less graphics settings than the PS5 or the Xbox 2. Um, so, yeah, I, essentially I feel like they could do a more powerful Switch. I think it could be a good move for them. Personally, I welcome it. I, I'd happily have a new Switch every year. I mean, I pay for a new smartphone every year, so I'd happily pay for a new Switch every year. And, and they're not really that expensive, so. And apparently battery life is a big thing that they want to improve, which I can understand because... The battery life's okay on the Switch, it's not the best, um, but batteries can already, always be improved. It's always something that needs to be improved. I've completely lost this game, there's no way I'm catching up now. I'm just I'm just waffling about the Switch Pro, I think that's a good title to put this video as. Do you think I should quit Xbox and go to Nintendo? I don't think anyone should quit anything. I think that um, I play Xbox, I play PlayStation, and I play Switch. Um, and I never, I don't have much time to play games at all. Switch is my most used console. Um, I play Call of Duty on PS4 Pro, and that is because uh, the game comes out quickest on there. Uh, I wouldn't say you should switch permanently to Switch because obviously games like Call of Duty don't come out on Switch. Um, there's games like I don't. There's so many AAA games that don't come out on Switch still, and that is what's that's what's Nintendo's trying to fix with the uh, Nintendo Switch Pro. They want these big AAA titles um, like the Call of Duties and, and the... Um, they want things like the Call of Duties, they want things like the... Um, what is it? All the big games, like Assassin's Creed. Um, there was a rumour about one specific game, I can't remember what it was. Um, but yeah, they, Nintendo want all these AAA titles on the Switch, but the Switch just isn't power enough to run them at a decent frame rate, at a decent graphic setting, um, to make consumers happy and want to go out and buy it. So that's why I think they may be, I think it would be a good move for them to do a Switch Pro. I mean, come on, Xbox has done the One X, um, PlayStation's on the PS4 Pro. I know it's only two years later, but two years in technology now is such a big gap. Like, being two years behind in... in um, in technology is just is so far so they need to move with the times and I think that's what they're trying to do I mean if you think about it, the switch when it came out was already so far behind in technology all you know because it's a handheld system they can't pack all the power of an Xbox one X into a into a console that size so they've had to sacrifice things and they've had to sort of pull it back and um, and limit it on the power uh, so yeah Switch Pro Chat. So, uh, something I need to quickly do 
give me two secs, guys. I will be with you in a second. Uh, I just need to go onto my live stream, live dashboard. Thank you. I need to pause that, refresh that. But yeah, definitely don't quit Xbox. There's no, there's no reason to quit Xbox. Um, because uh, it's, it's, you know, at the end of the day, they're such different systems. Still, none of them are like each other. They all have their benefits. They all have their disadvantages. It's, you know, they're they're all different. That's the thing. So definitely don't quit Xbox. Don't sell your Xbox to get a Switch. Anything like that. Um, the other thing they could do is do an XL version, or they could do a mini version, like they've done before with the Nintendos. Um, I doubt that they'll do that kind of yeah I, I don't think they'll do a mini or a XL I think if they do it it'll be a pro or a, a plus or something something that sounds good so someone on twitch said I was going to get a switch and wondering should I get FIFA 19 with it um again it depends on the games you like if you like FIFA 19 then 100% go out and do that because you know there's nothing wrong with doing that now. I've got a sentiment. Oh no, I need a, I need a left back. Where's my left back? Oh, there we go. Uh, apply consumable. Um, yeah, if you play if you play FIFA, then 100% go out and get FIFA with the Switch. But, it, I mean, it all depends on what you guys play. That's the thing. There's no right and wrong on what to do um, at this point. If you play FIFA, then... It's fine to go out and get a Switch with FIFA, but just just do bear in mind there is this new console, there is this new Switch Pro coming late 2019, but that's still a way away. I mean, that's still it's still under a year away, but there's still a huge amount of time till that happens, and there's still plenty of great games coming out on the Switch, um, and I've I've already pre-ordered so many of them. I've already pre-ordered so many games on the Switch. I I'll actually, I'll actually tell you now what I've pre-ordered because. My Switch, I just love the Switch. I want to buy everything that comes out on the Switch. Um, I think it's a fantastic system. And I just can't get enough of it, to be honest. So, my orders. Let me just go on Amazon and tell you what I've pre-ordered on the Switch. So, I have pre-ordered, well, Fallout, which is not on the Switch. But I am going to be playing Fallout. There's a giveaway on my channel. If you haven't seen my giveaway video on Fallout beta code, it's only a beta giveaway, but it's still there. And I haven't had enough people comment on it yet to actually release it. So go and comment on that video, like it, and follow me on Twitter, and I will direct message you the winner of the beta code. So I pre-ordered New Super Mario Bros, which is arriving in January 2019. So all that way away, I pre-ordered it. You've got Project High Rise, which is coming at some point. I'm not sure when. I've got Pokemon, because uh, that massive Pokemon game, Let's Go Eevee, I pre-ordered. Because my friend's getting Let's Go Pikachu, so we can sort of trade like that. That's in 16th of November. Super Smash Bros. on the 7th of December. Arc, Pixar, sorry. Pixar Survival. That is arriving on April 2019. So I've already pre ordered loads of games. Um, and someone on Twitch said, I always played FIFA each year, but it is good. But is it good on the Switch? I mean, it is good on the Switch. Um, but do bear in mind, it is not the full FIFA game because EA are absolute scumbags. And they don't like people to have fun and enjoy themselves on handheld consoles yet. They didn't release the full game on Switch again, like they did in 2018. Um, and it's very annoying. This guy's good and he's going to destroy me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my opinions. Some of the comments also said uh, that they don't think it'll be coming until 2019. Uh, 2020, sorry. Um, that's a possibility that it might not come until 2020. But at the end of the day, it's something we don't know about. I'm sure. Uh, actually, yes. One of the sources of Re Review Tech well, USA. God, yeah, that's hard to uh, say. Um, really yeah, one of the sources forward, said now. that they would, if they are releasing well. it summer 2019, that they were going to announce it. They were going to announce it early on in 20 in 2018. Uh, in 2019, sorry. They'll if they are releasing it in summer 2019, they'll announce that they're doing that early 2018 so Cabral. I, I think it's a good move I think it's something they should do I think I, I mean I would be more than happy to see a switch pro uh, with a better screen 
maybe 4K on some games when it's docked. Not not handheld. I'm not expecting that. Definitely not. Although, you do get some mobile games that run in 4K on some phones these days. So, maybe you should be expecting that. I don't know. I feel like they're saying, oh, this technology is not possible. But it, it, it is. It is there. Um, we do have the power. And even if they had to make it a bit thicker, if the Switch actually needed to be made thicker, I would welcome that. It doesn't bother me at all. Um... Well, they're back defending and they've cut the pass out there. And maybe that will ease the pressure. Philip. Banjoni. Goalkeeper is there for him and he's played it to him. That's a poor touch and the possession's gone away. It's Bailey. But yeah, all I want to see from the switch is definitely a system that's more powerful. Um... But I also want to see these AAA games. Is the Switch Pro going to be like the Xbox 360? Hang on. I'm in a stressful situation right now. I'll read your comment in a second. People watching on Twitch as well as YouTube. Just do bear in mind I stream on YouTube and Twitch, guys. So whichever platform you prefer, I'm on there. Uh, so is the Switch Pro going to be like the Xbox 360, Xbox One games, a different form? Okay, so as I was saying before, the Xbox... Um, if, this, if they do a Switch Pro, the rumours are is that the Switch Pro will be as powerful as the base PS4, the base PS4, so not the PS4 Pro, it's just the base PS4 and the base Xbox One, so around about that amount of power, um, which if you think about it, for a handheld is revolutionary, really. Not a good challenge by the defender, it's what you do when you get the ball that really counts and um, but yeah, so there'll be roughly around the PS4, base PS4 and base Xbox One amount of power, which is which is huge. You know, that's a big thing. That's a really big thing. Uh, that's a huge amount of power in a handheld system. So you'd be looking at that sort of graphics power um, in a handheld, which is honestly pretty incredible. Oh, I thought that was an on goal. I think it would have gone wide anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much what you're looking at for between 20, 2019 and 2020 um, with the new Switch coming out. Uh, I just I can't wait. I love getting a new console. I love upgrading. I'd happily... Offside. Oh, um, <laughs> Switch eats Xbox for breakfast. It does. I love I love the Switch. I just, I just think the fact that you've got this portable system... It makes it, it makes it feel so much more personal to you. I don't know if you guys feel that, but the Switch feels so personal to me, and um, because I can just wherever I go, I can play these games, and it just it just makes it. I don't know. Although some of the games are more expensive on Switch, I completely agree with that. I'm fine with them putting the price up because at the end of the day, you're almost getting two games. You're getting a, a version that you can take with you, as well as play portably at a still a very high resolution. I know. Doom and things like that. Doom and then um, some games don't run at anywhere near as good a graphics as the pure home consoles. But you know, you got to sacrifice some things. And and to me, it's not all about graphics. Look at like the Super Mario games. Those graphics are terrible compared to things like Battlefield One. But I'd still think they I still think they're amazing games. So. He's not signalling that he wants to come off. Jeff Shreves in the know, down by the benches. Nicholas Gaitan, he's got support here. That's a good ball, isn't it? A chance! Well, not all games will not be only on Switch Pro. Okay, so, I mean, guys, do bear in mind this is not confirmed information. This is the rumours and what people have heard from some inside sources. Apparently, they're very accurate inside sources, but I don't know them personally, uh, obviously. Um, but Review Tech USA, this is all information coming from him. He's a great tech channel. If you haven't heard of him, then go check him out. He's way bigger than I am. Like, he's not far off a million subs. Uh, and he does. He covers all the latest news and things like that. So um, definitely worth looking at his channel. But uh, regarding that, what they've said so far um, is that there will be games specific to Switch Pro. So if you have a normal Switch, you won't be able to play some of the games that are only on Switch Pro 
but if you have a Switch Pro, you'll be able to play all the games that you have on the normal Switch. Um, so obviously the best thing to do would be to go out and get a Switch Pro so you can play all the games. But, oh yeah, I know what it was. So Resident Evil 2, the remake of Resident Evil 2, um, apparently they leaked information that it was going to be coming to Switch. Now if you look on all the pre-order pages, there's no information on this game being on Switch at all. It's only on uh, it's only on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One X and PC. Um, so there's only rumours of... Um, but there, Sorry, there was rumours of uh, a leak of Resident Evil playing on a Switch on a Switch with a higher spec than the current Switch. So there has actually been some leaked information like that. So um, as I said, watch Review Tech USA's channel. Um, he's great. He's really good. Uh, and I, I love his videos, so you guys probably will too. Uh, is the Switch Pro coming out then? I can't say, guys. I can't say. Uh, but 100%, go and watch Review Tech USA's video about the Switch Pro. He has the most information. He has inside sources. Um, and yeah, he knows. So. so should you get a Switch for Christmas? Um... As I said to um, Leo Alira, who's literally wanting to buy a Switch because I, I've got one and I've been playing and he, I've sort of persuaded him to get one, uh, I still think it's worth buying the Switch because you go and spend £300 or $300 or whatever it is on a Switch and then you start getting this amazing library of games that you can have um, and then when the Switch Pro does come out, you don't have to get it straight away but if there's some games that you want to play that are only on Switch only on Switch Pro, you can just go and buy a Switch Pro. Um, so I'd recommend getting it, but I'd also recommend recommending um, upgrading to the Switch Pro when that does come out. I really would. Um, but you've still got until earliest summer 2019. Um, yeah, you've got earliest summer 2019 that will come out, and latest probably, I don't know, summer 2020. But 100%. They will do a Switch Pro console at some point. It's the best move for Nintendo. Um, if you think about the sales that they've had, people would welcome a more powerful system. I'm getting destroyed. Uh, it would be, be a good move. I, I agree with it. I'd love to see a Switch Pro. 100%. Um, might get FIFA for when I'm not on my Xbox FIFA. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, go grab it. 100%. It's, it's a... Switch is a brilliant console. There's so many other games, there's so many indie games that are on the Switch that are fantastic. Games that I never would have played or never would have even known about if it wasn't for me having a Switch. So it also introduces you. Like Super Meat Boy on the Switch, probably some of you guys may have heard of it. Um, brilliant game. I know it's been on PC for years. That's come out and I, I basically played that so much. Shovel Knight is one of my most played games on Switch. I never would have ever played Shovel Knight if it wasn't for seeing it on the Switch store and just literally love that game. And there's another one coming out soon. Um, Super Meat Boy Forever is coming out on Switch. Um, what else? There's been the space game that I'm currently playing on Switch. That's absolutely brilliant. I'm looking forward to playing more of that. That's one of the videos that I want to make today uh, for you guys. Games for Pro will be i will be able to play the games on the normal Switch. My mum won't be able to buy me Pro when it comes out after Christmas because I only got the normal one. Um, if it's a thing to do with... Uh, so if you can only get one Switch... I mean... Uh, that's a very difficult decision then. Because you kind of know that there's a Switch Pro coming in the distance. Uh, what consoles do you currently have at the moment? That's the question to ask. What consoles do you currently have? You're gonna need the physio for that. If you've got either a PS4 or an Xbox One, I recommend waiting for the Switch Pro. Um, just in case. You don't want to... Oh my gosh. You don't want to go out and spend a load of money on a Switch and be really disappointed when in under a year later they announce a Switch Pro. You don't want to wait. You've only got an Xbox 360. Um, okay, then maybe maybe go for a Switch. Maybe go for a Switch and um, then perhaps get the Switch Pro later on in in the year when it does come out. I mean, you've got you've got between the um, 
if you buy a Switch now or get it for Christmas in December, you've got at least another year before the Switch Pro comes out. So you can always upgrade later on in the year in 2019, which is still there's ages away, and your mum probably would have forgotten about it by then. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would get a Switch. It's this is only rumours anyway. There's no there's no fact in any of this. So. Just, just get a Switch. Brilliant consoles. Support the community. We can play. I play games with some people on Switch sometimes. I suck at this game so much, guys. Um, I'm so lost this. Um, but yeah, get a Switch. You won't be allowed. Well, okay. Then you, then you can always have the Switch for two years, and then. The Christmas after, you could get the Switch Pro, and uh, two years later. That's always an option, or three years later even, you know. That's the thing these days, with technology moving so fast, there's constantly going to be upgrades. Uh, but yeah, Switch is a fantastic console. I can't recommend it enough. Playing games on the go. Uh, I recommend you get Zelda. As I said earlier, if you haven't played a Zelda game before, do still go out and play Breath of the Wild. It is a fantastic game. It's not one of those rewards for no reason. Like it is, it is a good game. So, 100%. Go out and get it. It's fantastic, honestly. Guys, I, I suck at FIFA. I'm just terrible. I admit it. I'm terrible. But it's fine. We'll do a Call of Duty live stream later. I just can't wait for there to be more games coming out on Switch now. Like, I can't wait for Pokemon to come out. I'm going to be live streaming that so much. We'll play so much Pokemon. Blackout. Can't wait to play Call of Duty Blackout on uh, PS4 Pro. It's a shame that FIFA isn't the same as console version. Yes, it is such a shame. I don't know why they released this half-assed version of FIFA on the Switch because the Switch is easily capable of running FIFA. Of course, if it can run a full version of Doom, it can run a full version of FIFA, 100%. And it's so annoying that they don't bother putting more effort. The Switch has such a large community, and I don't know why they do that. Okay, I'll get more more play Fortnite on it and FIFA, so then the game's good. And three years later, thanks for the help. Ever played Zelda? I was going to get FIFA first. Yeah, get FIFA as the first game, that's fine. Um, but yeah, definitely get, obviously Fortnite's free, so you can get Fortnite on Switch. Um, but I would consider, as you've only got an Xbox 360, you ought to consider the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro, one of the two, because although the Switch is fantastic and I recommend it as a, a brilliant console, if you haven't got a main system to play games like Call of Duty, or things like Tomb Raider, if you haven't got a big system, a big main system, or a PC, freaking ref got in my way. Um, if you haven't got a big main console to play all these games, I do recommend getting a one of those. Oh. Yeah, the the FIFA does look a lot better. Are you playing with a pro controller? Yes, I am playing with a pro controller, and I'm, I know I'm still playing terrible. But yeah, um, just just get a Switch or a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X. Their keeper's so beast and it's really annoying me. It's really unfair. But yeah, get, get either a PS4 Pro, an Xbox One X or a Switch. Either way, you're going to be happy and it's going to be a huge upgrade from the Xbox 360. Oh, I give up with this game. <laughs> Hello, welcome. <laughs> you joined just as I suck. I mean, I'm five nil down or like six nil down. I give up. I've just been talking about the Switch the whole time. This is this is more of a Switch chat than a FIFA game. I'm, I mean, I'm, I've lost, so that's just time waste. I'll play one more game. 
There you go. Anyway, let's forget that that ever happened, and let's not talk about that ever again. Um, <laughs> But yeah, get any new console because any new console you get will be a massive upgrade from the Xbox 360. I guarantee you, I promise. Do you play Top 11? Uh, I've no idea what that is. I really am not good at FIFA. FIFA Switch without Pro Controller sucks. Now I have to buy one. Yeah, that's another thing you've got to think about. You only get the Joy-Con with the Switch. You don't get the Pro Controller. So if you are going to remember to add the Pro Controller cost on top of the FIFA costs, so don't forget that. The Pro Controllers are roughly around £50 in the UK. Maybe $60 in the US, I don't know. Um, I really need another centre back. Let's go to the transfer market quickly. Hi oh, Portuguese, if you need help, find the best players, give you some names. Yeah, I mean, I always need help, trust me. I don't get, how is he uh, rated that high? He looks terrible. Okay, I've got, I've got a question. Any good centre-backs for roughly around 1,500? Him? I can nearly get him. Which is annoying. I'm so close. Let's put a bid on him. There you go. We'll put a bit on that guy. Uh, we'll see if we win him after the game. Uh, let's go back to the online. I'll probably play another game. I'll probably lose. Because um, my team is not great at the moment. Uh, all the miss Okay. Do you need a good TV for Switch? Also, do I need a Pro Controller? So, yes. You don't. You don't need a TV for the Switch. You can play the Switch on its own, like as in, in the docked, in, in the handheld mode, you don't need a TV, but if you want to dock it, you need a TV to play it on, obviously, if you want to play on a big screen. It's so small, I mean, tiny, it's not that small, it's easily, it's easily big enough to play games and get the full experience of a full game in a handheld mode. Honestly, it's not a big deal playing it in handheld mode. I only play it um, through this and through my TV because I'm playing for you guys. Uh, like through the HDMI cable to record to my PC and then stream it to you guys. Uh, so I have to play it the way I am. We got this guy. Let's just put him in anyway, even though he's not the right player for the thing. But um, yeah, honestly, it's not it's not small. It's not that small. The Switch it is, you know, it's bigger than a smartphone screen. I've got the uh, iPhone XS Max, and it's it's a bigger screen than the iPhone XS Max. So that's a big phone. Um, Literally, all I want to do right now is I want to play against a terrible player. A terrible player. I literally just want to play against a terrible player so I can win one game. Because, okay, his team is not the best. His chemistry is not the best. Just don't be a good player. Let me beat you, please. I just need to win one game today. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, the Switch is not small at all. Don't think that because it is not a tiny console. It is a big handheld console. Um... Don't, don't worry about that. But it is nice having a TV to be able to dock your games and get home and play it on a big screen. It is nice, so... Do have a TV. And yes, I would get a pro controller if you're going to play games like FIFA. Any competitive games you want the best controller for. Um, it's not necessary to have a pro controller. You don't need a pro controller. But um, it is advised because for games like FIFA, you want to have 
an advantage over the other player. If someone's playing with the Joy-Cons and you're playing with a Pro Controller, you have a bit of an advantage, which is good. And you want that in a competitive game, so... Speaking of Pro Controllers, my Pro Controller's running out of battery. Also, the system is great. It's got USB-C charging, which is quick charging. Um, it's fast charging. Uh, the Pro Controller has fast charging, so that's really good. You know, that's some technology that Xbox actually needs to take a look at. You know, Xbox don't even have a chargeable console controller yet, for God's sake. You still have to use battery packs. So, and the Switch is using USB-C. Well, that's very good positional play. And he's uh, read the situation perfectly with that interception. Okay, so, but will it work on the TV? Is it as long as it has HDMI? Yeah, if your TV has HDMI, it will work on your TV. It doesn't need to be a big TV. Just any TV will work with the Switch. It's just nice playing on a bigger TV, that's all I was saying. Trust me, if you've got a TV with an HDMI cable, with an HDMI port in it, you'll be fine. It will work. Don't stress. It will work. Same as a PlayStation. You just need an HDMI port. You'll be fine. I've skied that so much. <laughs> also, I won't be able to play it online or Switch games time it costs money I don't have um, um, so you won't be able to play games like FIFA online you won't be able to play Ultimate Team online if you don't have the online pass uh, same as a PlayStation same as the Xbox One X if you don't have a pass you have to pay more the pass is cheaper on the Switch than the PlayStation and Xbox so You know, if you can't play online, then you won't be able to, you know. On the attack here. Shot shot. What was well, that? The home crowd happy, but not the uh, supporters that are supposed to be cheering the player who had the shot. It wasn't very encouraging for them. No, the player can afford to have a little guy smile, so at least he does see the funny side. Um, is the referee going to do here? But yeah, you, you kind of want to get online. You do because you want to be able to play online games. You'll be able to use the place, the Sony store. I mean, the Switch store. Yeah, I'd recommend you get online. That will help ease the pressure. Come on. No, I wanted to pass the back guy. I've got to say. Damn it. Do you need for online store? I'm actually not sure. I don't think you do. No, I don't think you do. I think you can still download games without without the, the thing. Um, That's a poor touch. But you just won't be able to play like Ultimate Team, which is a big part of FIFA, or anything online. Like you won't be able to play Fortnite. Actually, Fortnite, I think you can play without the pass. I'm not completely sure about that. Um, but you kind of want to buy Switch online. I mean. It's the it's like twenty dollars. It's the price of a or if you're like in the UK like me, it's like twenty pounds. I mean, it's cheaper than a Switch game. So if you can afford Switch games, then you might as well just get you might as well just get it online. But yeah, I'm not sure about Fortnite. Someone could let me know. That'd be great. But um, you might as well pay the twenty dollars 
or 20 pounds that you were gonna like pay to just buy the switch online I don't if you can afford games on the switch then you can afford switch online like just buy you know, I'm pretty sure there's even probably a bundle good about that a really strong and clean tackle and here's the shot Oh, I'm pretty sure there's a bundle. You don't need subscription for, to, for free ga to play games. Okay, so you don't need you don't need a subscription to play Fortnite. Um, but I still would recommend uh, getting a Switch Online, just because you've got to want to play Ultimate Team. I mean, you're you're spending so much money on a FIFA game. You already have less features as it is than the normal version of the game, and now you're going to have even less because you can't play. A ultimate team online so I don't know that does seem like a bit of a waste of money I would just get FIFA online and save and buy a game after that how am I not scoring any goals today Could be dangerous. Thank God for my keeper. It's gone for a corner. Yeah, the rim that you can set the rim things on the on the TV. It's the same as every other console. Honestly, don't worry about that. Like, what TV do you have? Because <laughs> if it, unless you've got some sort of like triangular shaped. TV or something, then you're not going to have a problem. If it's a rectangle TV, you've got no problem. Like, you must have, if you're really that worried about a TV, you must have some really strange TV. Honestly, a TV is a TV, they all work. <laughs> you can buy, yeah, you can buy uh, Switch, like, codes and stuff like that. So, are you saying none of your family has a credit card or anything like that? They should really get one. I'm sure your mum's got one. Thiago Mendes. I'm sure if you said to your mum, like, I, I need Switch Online to get to play the game, to use the Switch, I'm sure she'd let you. I'm sure she'd buy it for you. It's n it's really no it's no money at all. Like. And he's moved in, trying to jostle the opponent off his stride. Johnny. No, turn around. Where are these passes going? Gosh. Who are players in your team? I don't know. They're not great. <laughs> you have Discord or some pics of it to your TV. Uh, I do have Discord, but I have no idea what my name is on Discord. Um, honestly, just tell me the make of it. Just tell me the make of your TV or the like, the model number or whatever. I can Google it. There's been a lot of effort from these two well-matched teams, but nothing decisive. And at half time, it is level pegging here. Yeah, I don't think I've decided. How many shots have we had? We've had three, okay. Oh, wait, no, we've had five. Three on target. Possession. Okay, we're really evenly matched team. This is annoying. from the referee. 
We're off and running again for the second half. Levetsi. How is he getting away with all these? How is he getting away with all these tackles? Every time I tackle the guy, he ends up still having the ball. I don't get it. The interception. Wow. Risky tackle sliding in like that with the ball off the ground. The shot's off. That's all they can do at the moment. Might get FIFA for when I'm out. Yeah, FIFA is good on Switch. It's just nice having the full game. You won't. No, it says nothing on it. Go and. Good clear. Honestly, you don't need me to tell you if your TV works with the Switch. If you've got an HDMI port, it will work. If you've got an, if you, it will work the same as your Xbox 360 does. You don't need to stress about it. If it's got an HDMI port, I do know what I'm talking about. It will work. Fine. Okay, if your Xbox 360 looks fine, your Switch will look fine. Finally! <laughs> How is it on Nintendo Switch? Because I have one, but I don't know how it is. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's good. FIFA's good on Switch. FIFA's really good on Switch. So the first goal is one -nil. Finally scored. I don't know why this guy takes so long to do anything, everything. Wabi Kasri. Yeah, honestly, if your Xbox works fine, then your Switch will work fine. Unless you've got some weird TV with, like, eight different corners, which is, I don't think is even a thing, then you'll be fine. They'll work the same. Really wasn't that close, guys. Commentators really overhype things. Why are we taking so long? This how they love to play on the break. A couple of options for it. Lag. Whether to go for goal or put it to where his teammates are lining up. And it's the free kick now. Simple save from an ambitious effort. Why are none of my players up there? Come on. Very successful there. He's got possession. That tackle didn't hold him up. He's away still with the ball. He literally just took out one of my players. Good tackle. Player slid in at him. Somehow he got out of the way. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Saw that pass coming in midfield. Made the now. What is the referee going to do? Yeah, I know I need to pass the ball more. I'm sorry. I need to stop running with the ball. I just like running with the ball. Two yellow cards to their team. I swear one of those guys already had a yellow card. Oh well, we'll get we won't get a corner. Damn it. Xbox is on bigger and better TV is my bros now, so I was looking we have this TV for years in attic. It's my it's in my room now, so small it will work then that's fine. Just wondering if there's a size that won't work with the switch. No, all TVs are fine as long as it's got an HDMI port. Make sure it has got an HDMI port. And even just use your Xbox 360 to test it on that TV that you've got upstairs. And just make sure that works. If that works, then everything else will work. Substitution that the home side want to make. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there. Niang. Good 
That was the riskiest move I've made in FIFA. Well, you oh. can see what he was trying to do, but the pass wasn't on. It was a, a bad ball, as it turned out. Activity on the bench for the losing team. A substitute getting ready to come on. I think we'll see with these possession stats, Alan, that, yes, the uh, game has been as even as it seemed without the, the figures to back that up. Yeah, I mean, I think we thought coming into this match, Martin, that it would be evenly matched. And it's been the case here. And here's the shot. Oh. It's a good block. Wabi Kasri. Damn it. Super player falling over. Just a heavy touch, the opposition could take the ball away. We're going to shoot from here. Oh! How? How? That was such a good shot. It would have been so amazing if that had gone in. Well, he's lost the ball here. Oh no. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. They've opened them up here. Kasri. Damn it. Yeah, the colour on the TV will be fine. A great pace and a fantastic goal. Uh, How quickly did they go from back to front there? What a counter attack. That's annoying. So away we go at one all. He's avoided that sliding challenge. Why does this dude keep doing this? It's so annoying. Every time. It really screws me over because I can't tackle him. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes off. Wow. Yes, he's got a red card. Good. Yeah, I don't think he'd be happy with his defender for the way he did get sent off, but he's got to think on his feet now, the manager, and readjust. As you see from the foul count on the screen, the referee's had his work cut out here. Yeah, he has, and he could have issued a lot more yellow cards, but uh, it's been a rough and Thank God for that. Here. We're down now to the last six minutes. And the ball's got away from him. Oh, that doesn't look too good. Probably a pulled muscle. You don't see that so often. Just glided past him effortlessly. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. What is the guy doing on my team? Well picked off by the defender there for what could have been a potentially match-winning pass in these circumstances. Now the shot! Well, it could have been a shot of significance. It's turned out to be a shot of insignificance. Bit of a selfish decision, that one, from the player when he could have easily passed it. That's a fine tackle. It's Benedetto. And they've added on another five minutes. Oh. Marvellous tackle. I had no one to pass to. There's some potential in this move. Space for the shot. Come on. What a good interception. Back defending, and they've cut the pass out there, and maybe that will ease the pressure. They're looking at their watches down on the bench. Can this last attack? I deserve to win this game, right? Possible. No. Final whistle's gone, and what a good game it was. It has. Oh, that's annoying. Hello, Danny Akintik. Welcome to the stream. I'm actually just about to end the stream, sadly, so I do apologise. Um. But do subscribe and like, and I will be back later for another stream. We'll be doing Call of Duty later, I think.
Um, yeah, have a bit of fun on Call of Duty. So that will be good. No, not play match. So, yeah, we will be ending the stream there for now. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Um, thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate that a lot. It means a lot. Um, we're almost at 1,500 subscribers now, so we are getting there. Really, really good. Can't wait to hit the 2,000 mark if we ever do hit the 2,000 mark. So, guys, that's the aim is to get there. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, and I will see you guys in the next FIFA or call you live stream, depending on whatever you like. Bye-bye.